I'm Judy Fitzgibbons, the dietitian at the Johnson Avenue Hy-Vee store. We're coming into fall, getting ready for the holiday season. Pomegranates in, are in the store and they are gorgeous. Now, a lot of people are confused or have no idea how to get into these. So we're going to show you how easy it is to enjoy the, the beauty and the wonderful flavors pomegranates have to offer. Pomegranates are gorgeous. They're the fruit of love. There's lots of fun his stories about them, but they're a little bit of a mystery on how to get into. So pomegranates have a stem end and a blossom end, and the blossom end is the key for getting them open. With a sharp paring knife, cut around the blossom end. We're, going to lift, we're lifting a core out. And that just pops out. And then score it. So just the skin is not all that thick. It's about like an orange. And I'm going to make probably about eight scores. So I've got eight sections all the way around top to bottom. The fruit that's inside the pomegranate is, I, I say it, think of it as being very big raspberry kind of kernel. So they're, they're extremely juicy. To keep from getting pomegranate juice all over the kitchen, we're going to slide it inside a, a plastic bag. Put thumbs in the middle where we took the core and break the sections apart into the plastic bag. And we're getting some nice juice splatters there, so it's a really good thing we've got it corralled. So as you can see, the pomegranate arils are seeds. They look a lot like corn. And we'll blend, bend the section back. Do this. I would suggest doing this inside the bag. <clears throat> and then simply take your fingers, your thumbs, and roll the arils off. Now, I'm being very gentle because we are going to make chocolate-covered arils, and I don't want them to be squished or juicy. And we want to get rid of the little white paper segments. I've already started here on another one. So let's pop this back again. Inside every single one of these, the arils is a little seed. They're perfectly edible. You eat them, great source of fiber. Do it till you've got the whole thing. You'll end up with a large pomegranate. It gives you about two cups of these beautiful jeweled pomegranate arils. We can make the most incredible holiday treat with pomegranates. What could be better than dark chocolate in the holiday season and beautiful red? We're going to make chocolate-covered pomegranate arils. Recipe is incredibly simple. One package of dark chocolate chocolate chips, melted, takes in the, in the microwave about three minutes, but start checking at about two and stirring until they're, they're totally melted. And the arils from that pomegranate, about two cups. Be sure they're dry. It's a good idea to pat them with a paper towel. So just gradually, we'll add about a third of the arils. Stir it in so they're coated. Oops, another third. It's easier to do a few at a time than to dump them all in at once. There we go. And then very gently fold the chocolate over the arils until they're coated. This is, a, this is a treat for your dark chocolate loving friends. We could just spread it into a pan and make a bark, but we're going to make this extra special by dipping it. Small teaspoons onto wax paper or onto parchment. And these are pretty powerful flavors, so do make them small. They can come back for more if someone really likes it. Also gives those folks that are a little hesitant to try something new an opportunity to have a small bite. The beauty of these is when you bite into them, they're kind of like a cherry cordial with that juiciness, except it's that sweet tart of the pomegranates uh, backed up by the bitter chocolate. So sweet treat, but a couple other options I want to share with you as well. We have, the, of course, the pomegranates on a pretty tray, but pomegranates are beautiful over salads. So wintertime, the citrus is coming in. Sprinkle a few pomegranate arils over some dark greens and citrus fruit. Add your favorite dressing. And then another great treat is for a pr especially pretty party table. Something with a fizz, champagne would be wonderful. And we'll drop the pomegranates in there. And the bubbles in the beverage, when we wait long enough, the pomegranates start floating. And in a tall, narrow glass, they begin to pop up and down. 
following the bubbles in the beverage. So it makes, even if they decide to just sit on the top like these seem to be doing, then they're great. Okay, guys, if I don't get in and get this done, these are going to be a mess. So go ahead and try those now that we're, we're done with the YouTube. Okay, thanks. So how'd they come out? Mm. Perfect, just as you described. Delicious. Delicious. Camera lady, come on, come and grab one. Mm. Get your hand in there. Mm. Oh. Tell us what the non what the non dietitian person thinks. Mm -hmm. mm. They took the color away from me. Mm -hmm. They do taste exactly like those cherry cordials, like you were talking I about. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so Very incredibly good. good. Judy? I know. And you Isn't this amazing? Mm. It's amazing. Mm. I really like them. Yeah. The other thing that's great about them is yeah. you really get your chocolate fix no. quick. Uh -huh. You do. Mm -hmm. you get them on the outside, and then right. you get that crunchiness in the middle. It's like a nut. Right. 